B1 Preliminary 2 Test 2 There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. One. What does the man decide to buy? Can you help me decide what to buy? I'm having problems. Sure. So what were you thinking of getting? Well, I really love this belt. It's such good quality leather. But it's so expensive. I thought you said before you wanted to get something in the sale. I suppose you're right. What about this tie? It's very smart. Hmm. I think it'd look good with most of my shirts. I'll go for that. I love this hat, though. It's nice, but the colour's a bit strange. Yeah, maybe you're right. Now listen again. Can you help me decide what to buy? I'm having problems. Sure. So what were you thinking of getting? Well, I really love this belt. It's such good quality leather. But it's so expensive. I thought you said before you wanted to get something in the sale. I suppose you're right. What about this tie? It's very smart. Hmm. I think it'd look good with most of my shirts. I'll go for that. I love this hat, though. It's nice, but the colour's a bit strange. Yeah, maybe you're right. Two. What kind of job has the woman applied for? I've just sent in an application for another job. Oh, yes? Yeah. I've worked at the library for a while now, and I love what I do. But so much of the work involves being on a computer rather than dealing with books. I've done an online training course in handling old historical documents, and the town museum's looking for an assistant who's able to do that sort of thing. I saw the ad on their website, so I thought I'd try for it. Sounds interesting. Good luck. Now listen again. I've just sent in an application for another job. Oh, yes? Yeah. I've worked at the library for a while now, and I love what I do. But so much of the work involves being on a computer rather than dealing with books. I've done an online training course in handling old historical documents, and the town museum's looking for an assistant who's able to do that sort of thing. I saw the ad on their website, so I thought I'd try for it. Sounds interesting. Good luck. Three. How will the man travel to work today? Hi, it's Simon. I'm sorry, but I'm going to be late for work today. My car's broken down and I've no idea what's wrong with it. It just wouldn't start this morning. So annoying. I called for a taxi, but there's nothing available for at least an hour. They're all busy because of the heavy rain. Anyway, I don't fancy cycling in this weather, so my neighbour's going to give me a lift to the station. The trains are every half hour. It'll be quicker than having to wait for a taxi. Now listen again. Hi, it's Simon. I'm sorry, but I'm going to be late for work today. My car's broken down and I've no idea what's wrong with it. It just wouldn't start this morning. So annoying. I called for a taxi, but there's nothing available for at least an hour. They're all busy because of the heavy rain. Anyway, I don't fancy cycling in this weather, so my neighbour's going to give me a lift to the station. The trains are every half hour. It'll be quicker than having to wait for a taxi. Four. Where does the man think he lost his wallet? 
Are you all right? No, I just realized as I was coming up in the elevator that I've lost my wallet. Oh, no. I obviously had it in the grocery store. Yes, because you bought all that stuff. Did you go anywhere after that? Yeah, the bookstore. I guess it fell out of my pocket when I took my jacket off. It was so warm in there. I seem to remember hearing a noise, but I didn't check. Oh, well, you'd better go back there right now. Now listen again. Are you all right? No, I've just realized as I was coming up in the elevator that I've lost my wallet. Oh, no. I obviously had it in the grocery store. Yes, because you bought all that stuff. Did you go anywhere after that? Yeah, the bookstore. I guess it fell out of my pocket when I took my jacket off. It was so warm in there. I seem to remember hearing a noise, but I didn't check. Oh, well, you'd better go back there right now. Five. What will the man make for dinner tonight? Hi, I'm just phoning to let you know that I'm going to make the dinner this evening. I know we usually have a pizza delivered on Thursdays, but as we had one when we were out the other day, I'd rather have something else. Anyway, I thought you wouldn't say no to a lovely steak. We could eat in the garden. I know you were talking about having fish and salad one day this week, but I feel like something more than that. Uh, let me know what time you'll be home. Bye. Now listen again. Hi, I'm just phoning to let you know that I'm going to make the dinner this evening. I know we usually have a pizza delivered on Thursdays, but as we had one when we were out the other day, I'd rather have something else. Anyway, I thought you wouldn't say no to a lovely steak. We could eat in the garden. I know you were talking about having fish and salad one day this week, but I feel like something more than that. Uh, let me know what time you'll be home. Bye. Six. Who was the woman's favourite character in the film? That was a good film. I got a bit confused about who was who. There were so many different characters. I agree. That female police detective was my favourite. Which one? There were quite a few. Do you mean the one with long, dark, curly hair? She had similar hair. Curly, but not long. She was the one who had a male colleague with short, dark hair and glasses and his hair was straight. Oh, I know the one you mean now. Yes, yeah, she was great. Now listen again. That was a good film. I got a bit confused about who was who. There were so many different characters. I agree. That female police detective was my favourite. Which one? There were quite a few. Do you mean the one with long, dark, curly hair? She had similar hair. Curly, but not long. She was the one who had a male colleague with short, dark hair and glasses, and his hair was straight. Oh, I know the one you mean now. Yes, yeah, she was great. Seven. What does the girl want her father to deliver? Hi, Dad. Can you do me a favour? I've got to go and collect my new glasses from the shop in town and go to the library, so I won't be home before you go out. But I've left my keys behind, so I won't be able to get back in. If you're driving past the library, would you mind bringing them for me if I wait outside? You'll find them on the table. Do you remember? I was sitting there writing some notes for my essay last night. Thanks. Bye. Now listen again. Hi, Dad. Can you do me a favour? I've got to go and collect my new glasses from the shop in town and go to the library, so I won't be home before you go out. But I've left my keys behind, so I won't be able to get back in. If you're driving past the library, would you mind bringing them for me if I wait outside? You'll find them on the table. Do you remember? 
I was sitting there writing some notes for my essay last night. Thanks. Bye. That is the end of part one. Now look at part two. For each question, choose the correct answer. Eight. You will hear two friends talking about some work the man has to do. I've got so much to do at work this week. I don't know how I'm going to finish it all in time. If there's no one available to help you, then do what I do. Write everything on a list and work out the time you need to do each thing. Pick any job from the list based on the time you've got available. It doesn't matter if you do the first thing or the last thing on the list, as long as you do something. You'll soon find you're making progress. Thanks. I'll give that a try. Now listen again. I've got so much to do at work this week. I don't know how I'm going to finish it all in time. If there's no one available to help you, then do what I do. Write everything on a list and work out the time you need to do each thing. Pick any job from the list based on the time you've got available. It doesn't matter if you do the first thing or the last thing on the list, as long as you do something. You'll soon find you're making progress. Thanks. I'll give that a try. Nine. You will hear two students talking about a history website. Have you been on that history website yet? Once or twice. I like the appearance of it. But I thought there'd be more links to articles about different topics we're doing on our course. What I have found, though, has been helpful for the essay I'm writing. There are plenty of articles on there, you know. I've found loads connected to stuff on our course. Maybe you haven't tried the advanced search option. That's the best way to find what you want. All right. Can you show me how to do that? Sure. No problem. Now listen again. Have you been on that history website yet? Once or twice. I like the appearance of it, but I thought there'd be more links to articles about different topics we're doing on our course. What I have found, though, has been helpful for the essay I'm writing. There are plenty of articles on there, you know. I've found loads connected to stuff on our course. Maybe you haven't tried the advanced search option. That's the best way to find what you want. All right. Can you show me how to do that? Sure. No problem. Ten. You will hear two friends talking about the woman's holiday. How was your summer holiday on the south coast? We had a brilliant time. So was your hotel good? I've stayed in better, to be honest, but that's OK. What I especially loved was the fact that I didn't need to spend all the money I took with me. Seriously. Wow! You don't often hear someone say that after a holiday. Did you eat out a lot while you were there? Every day, actually. It cost so much less than it does here in the city, although there wasn't much variety of dishes to choose from. Right. Now listen again. How was your summer holiday on the south coast? We had a brilliant time. So was your hotel good? I've stayed in better, to be honest, but that's OK. What I especially loved was the fact that I didn't need to spend all the money I took with me. Seriously. Wow! You don't often hear someone say that after a holiday. Did you eat out a lot while you were there? Every day, actually. It costs so much less than it does here in the city. Although there wasn't much variety of dishes to choose from. Right. Eleven. 
you will hear two friends talking about a shopping center. I went to the new shopping center yesterday. Ah, oh, I wasn't impressed by it myself, but I only went to a department store and some shoe shops. I found everything I needed, but then when I went for something to eat there, could I find a suitable restaurant? Not a chance. Just stalls selling coffee. Oh, there's a nice place on the top floor, but as for the car park, I can't believe they thought that one would be enough for a place that size. They really need to do something about that. Anyway, I'm not planning on shopping there again for a while. Now listen again. I went to the new shopping centre yesterday. Ah, oh, I wasn't impressed by it myself, but I only went to a department store and some shoe shops. I found everything I needed, but then when I went for something to eat there, could I find a suitable restaurant? Not a chance. Just stalls selling coffee. Oh, there's a nice place on the top floor, but as for the car park, I can't believe they thought that one would be enough for a place that size. They really need to do something about that. Anyway, I'm not planning on shopping there again for a while. Twelve. You will hear two friends talking about playing golf. I've heard you've started playing golf. How are you getting on with it? That's right. I took it up a couple of months ago. But actually, if you saw me out there on the golf course, I think you'd be impressed by my ability. Honestly, it's not like chess or cricket, where so many people get confused about the rules. As far as I'm concerned, it couldn't be simpler. I wouldn't want to play any more than I do now, though, as a game takes so long. Personally, I've never liked it. I prefer other sports. Now listen again. I've heard you've started playing golf. How are you getting on with it? That's right. I took it up a couple of months ago. But actually, if you saw me out there on the golf course, I think you'd be impressed by my ability. Honestly, it's not like chess or cricket, where so many people get confused about the rules. As far as I'm concerned, it couldn't be simpler. I wouldn't want to play any more than I do now, though, as a game takes so long. Personally, I've never liked it. I prefer other sports. Thirteen. You will hear two friends talking about a novel. Have you finished reading that novel I lent you? Yeah, I thought it was okay, not great. I mean, the situation the family find themselves in is something that most people are familiar with, but it was kind of hard to get excited about the people in the story. I just didn't feel curious about them. Also, I don't understand why, in a novel that length, the author decided to have so many chapters. It interrupted things, and the story didn't flow well. Oh, okay. Well, I quite enjoyed the story, actually. Now listen again. Have you finished reading that novel I lent you? Yeah, I thought it was okay, not great. I mean, the situation the family find themselves in is something that most people are familiar with, but it was kind of hard to get excited about the people in the story. I just didn't feel curious about them. Also, I don't understand why, in a novel that length, the author decided to have so many chapters. It interrupted things, and the story didn't flow well. Oh, okay. Well, I quite enjoyed the story, actually. That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one or two words 
or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions 14 to 19 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear some information about a one-day drumming class. If you've always wanted to learn the drums but would rather play in a group than on your own, then try a one-day class in Japanese taiko drumming at the music school. Taiko drums create exciting music and are really fun to play too. All that's required is plenty of energy. Your ability doesn't matter at all. The first thing you'll do is watch a short performance. Then you'll listen to a taiko expert from Japan who will tell you about the history of Japanese drumming. Afterwards, you'll be ready to have a go, guided by an experienced instructor. In the morning, we'll also go through the basics. It's important to get the way you stand right. This will help you with your movements. Make sure you dress in comfortable clothes though you won't need to wear traditional Japanese clothes like the professionals. After lunch, we'll do what we call stick skills. This is where you learn all about the variety of different sounds you can make with your drumsticks. And at the end of the day, we'll play some musical patterns together as a group. So, why take up taiko drumming? Well, it has lots of benefits. It's a wonderful type of exercise, so you'll get fitter, it also puts you in a better mood. You'll feel great after a day of drumming. So, what are you waiting for? If you're interested in attending the class, you'll need to send an email to the class instructor, Steve Paxman. His address is paxman at tyco.uk. That's P-A-X-M-E-N. Be quick, as places are limited. See you soon. Now listen again. If you've always wanted to learn the drums but would rather play in a group than on your own, then try a one-day class in Japanese taiko drumming at the music school. Taiko drums create exciting music and are really fun to play too. All that's required is plenty of energy. Your ability doesn't matter at all. The first thing you'll do is watch a short performance. Then, you'll listen to a taiko expert from Japan who will tell you about the history of Japanese drumming. Afterwards, you'll be ready to have a go, guided by an experienced instructor. In the morning, we'll also go through the basics. It's important to get the way you stand right. This will help you with your movements. Make sure you dress in comfortable clothes, though you won't need to wear traditional Japanese clothes like the professionals. After lunch, we'll do what we call stick skills. This is where you learn all about the variety of different sounds you can make with your drumsticks. And at the end of the day, we'll play some musical patterns together as a group. So, why take up taiko drumming? Well, it has lots of benefits. It's a wonderful type of exercise, so you'll get fitter. It also puts you in a better mood. You'll feel great after a day of drumming. So, what are you waiting for? If you're interested in attending the class, you'll need to send an email to the class instructor, Steve Paxman. His address is paxman at tyco.uk. That's P-A-X-M-E-N. Be quick, as places are limited. See you soon. That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 20 to 25 now.
You have 45 seconds. You will hear an interview with a young woman called Lara Andrews, who has a baking business. Today I'm talking to Lara Andrews, who runs a successful bakery business selling delicious cakes and other things. Lara, what made you open your bakery business? I've loved baking since I was a child, when I started baking for my school friends. Some of them even offered to pay me to make birthday cakes, but I just did it for fun. I also made one for a teacher who said it was brilliant. Anyway, when I told Mum and Dad, they said I should make a business out of it. They both work in sales, so I guess it's in our family. What were the challenges when you started your business? I wanted everything to be absolutely perfect, and I didn't always know where to look to learn about what ingredients to use, how much of each, and so on. The internet was useful though, and luckily I haven't had to handle customers being negative about my products. I thought it'd take ages to get enough customers, but fortunately it didn't. Do you prefer baking bread or cakes? I love baking both. I love simple cakes, but I'll try making anything. Bread's complicated, so I'm always pleased when I get it right. It requires more skill and... You have to be patient and do lots of things all in the right order. What can you do to improve your baking business? Well, I've recently had several ideas for working with and mixing together unusual ingredients, which I'm experimenting with, rather than just familiar favourites. I'm good at using my imagination. I just have to trust myself more that my ideas will work. I recently put some ads in our local paper and, as a result, I've had several orders come in, which is great. What about future plans, Laura? One thing I'll definitely do is start a video blog for children and teenagers so they can bake with me as they watch. And a friend of mine suggested that I produce my own cookery book one day. I'm not sure about that, though. I've also considered opening a cafe but that's very different from what I really enjoy doing, which is baking at home. Finally, do you have any advice for people wanting to start their own baking business? Well, speaking as someone with experience in this industry, I think it's important to remember that you'd be very lucky if you actually got rich. You don't need professional training, but do practice. Remember the old saying, practice makes perfect. <laughs> well... Thanks for joining us, Lara. My pleasure. Now listen again. Today I'm talking to Lara Andrews, who runs a successful bakery business selling delicious cakes and other things. Lara, what made you open your bakery business? I've loved baking since I was a child, when I started baking for my school friends. Some of them even offered to pay me to make birthday cakes, but I just did it for fun. I also made one for a teacher who said it was brilliant. Anyway, when I told Mum and Dad, they said I should make a business out of it. They both work in sales, so I guess it's in our family. What were the challenges when you started your business? I wanted everything to be absolutely perfect, and I didn't always know where to look to learn about what ingredients to use, how much of each, and so on. The internet was useful though, and luckily I haven't had to handle customers being negative about my products. I thought it would take ages to get enough customers, but fortunately it didn't. Do you prefer baking bread or cakes? I love baking both. I love simple cakes, 
but I'll try making anything. Bread's complicated, so I'm always pleased when I get it right. It requires more skill and you have to be patient and do lots of things all in the right order. What can you do to improve your baking business? Well, I've recently had several ideas for working with and mixing together unusual ingredients, which I'm experimenting with, rather than just familiar favourites. I'm good at using my imagination. I just have to trust myself more that my ideas will work. I recently put some ads in our local paper and, as a result, I've had several orders come in, which is great. What about future plans, Laura? One thing I'll definitely do is start a video blog for children and teenagers so they can bake with me as they watch. And a friend of mine suggested that I produce my own cookery book one day. I'm not sure about that, though. I've also considered opening a cafe, but that's very different from what I really enjoy doing, which is baking at home. Finally, do you have any advice for people wanting to start their own baking business? Well, speaking as someone with experience in this industry, I think it's important to remember that you'd be very lucky if you actually got rich. You don't need professional training, but do practice. Remember the old saying, practice makes perfect. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, Lara. My pleasure. That is the end of part four. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.